Hey everyone, this is Chelsea with Scott Leroy Marketing. Um, today we're going to be talking about working with contact tags. So this is going to be found in our contacts applet, which is the second icon down. However, before we get started um, in this applet, we're actually going to go into the settings and I'm going to show you how you can set up and view all of your existing contact tags in the back end. So to do that, we're going to go over to the right hand side and click on our name. We're going to go down to our settings. And when we click on settings, that's going to bring us to our integrations page. Now over on the left hand side, you see all of your different setting options here. So if we go ahead and click on our command settings, we're going to see that the second option down is for our contacts. Now, when we click on that, it's going to give us all of these different options that we can look into the back end of our command settings regarding our contacts. Because we're talking about tags today, we're going to click on our contacts tags. So when we click on that, this is going to show us all of the contact tags that are currently in our command system. So if you look all the way at the bottom, it's going to show you how many you're currently viewing um, out of the total amount of tags. So we currently have 285 tags within our system. Now we do have the option to make adjustments to this list. We do have the option to search for particular tags. Um, now, if we are looking at our actual tags, we can go ahead over to the right hand side. It's going to give you the option to either edit using this pencil icon, or we can delete the contact tag from the list. So if we want to go ahead and edit, um, we can. it's gonna bring us up to this page where we can edit the tag name, or we can edit the color that is associated with that particular tag. So if we go ahead and let's say we wanna change that color, we'll click save. And now you'll notice that the color has changed for that tag. Now, Let's see if we wanted to go ahead and delete this particular tag here. We're going to go over to this trash can icon. We will click delete and it will tell you that uh, this will be completely removed from the system. We'll click OK and it's going to give us this error message. Now we did this purposely just to show you that it's going to give you this error saying that a, the tag is linked to a contact and it cannot be deleted. So keep that in mind if you are going to delete a tag that is currently associated with a contact, you will have to delete that tag, remove that tag from that contact within your contact profile in order to delete the tag from the system. So if we do find a tag that we do not have anyone on, let's see, maybe this one, you'll get that green banner at the top saying that it has been removed from your database. Now, if we wanted to create any new tags, we can go to the create tag option in the top right corner, and it's going to give us this, uh, this screen again where we can enter the tag name. So let's say we wanted to do uh, sports friends, and then we can add the tag color. We will make it orange. We'll go ahead and click create. And now we have created this tag right here um, that you can see has been created today. So now that we have looked at the back end of this, we're gonna go ahead into our contact applet. So when we click on that, it's going to bring us into our database. Now, the first thing that we're going to see is um, we do have the option to import, to add our contacts. Um, let's turn our filter off just for a second. Okay, perfect. So now we're able to see all of our tags. Now, one of the things that you are able to do that comes in handy is going to be able to bulk tag. Now, what that means is adding a tag to contacts, to multiple contacts at a time. Now, in order to do that, you're going to see this white box in our header section. 
If we click on that, you're going to notice that it's going to select all of these contacts here. Now, it will actually tell you the exact number at the top right here. So we do have 49 contacts selected. Now, this box has appeared, which was not there before. This is our bulk action box. So if we click on this dropdown, it's going to provide all of the actions that we are able to do to all of these contacts at a time. Now, one of the things that you can do is to add tags to all of these contacts. So if we click on add tags, we can now either search or just scroll to find the tag that we want to add to every single one of the contacts. So let's go ahead. We're going to select our tag that we just created in the back end. We'll click Submit. And now we can see that Sports Friends has been added to 49 of our contacts. So let me get out of our... There we go. Okay, so now that we are in our full database, you can see that the um, this tag has been added to every single contact in our database. Now, if we wanted to remove that tag, if maybe we didn't mean to add it to everyone or, you know, we just want to reverse that, um, we'll go ahead. We are going to click on this again, get that option, click on that drop down. And this time, instead of clicking add tags, if you go down to the bottom and this is in alphabetical order, you're going to see that there's also an option to remove tags. So we're going to click on the remove tag icon. And we're going to click on that tag again. It's going to tell us the amount of contacts that have that tag. That means that all of those contacts will have that tag removed. We're going to click Remove Selected. And now you're going to see that, well, it should have uh, removed that from all of our contacts. <laughs> so let's see. Let's try that one more time. Remove Tags. Okay, it looks like it's still actually uh, processing. So it removed it from a few of them. It looks like it removed it from about nine. Um, we still have 38 contacts that it is working on. So it's always good to see in real time um, that it might actually take some time to make that update. However, it is going to remove those tags. So we should see that shortly. Now, one of the other things that we can discuss is um, multiple tags. Now, if you did not want to use that bulk action item to select all of your tags, but maybe you did want to just select a few of them, you could scroll through your contacts and you could just manually select any of the contacts that you want. So if we wanted these four to receive a new tag, again, we're gonna use that same option, click on that drop down, and then we'll have our option to either add tags or again, we can remove the tags. So that's the way that you can manually add those contacts. You will have to manually deselect them as well. Then we have our ability to sort tags. So the way to do this is going to be through our filter option. Now, if we click on the filter, this is going to allow us to filter out contacts. And what we mean by that is putting in particular search items for particular contacts that fit those search items to populate. So if we are looking at our filter option, the second box down is going to be our tags. We can click on this and then we can choose the tags that we want to see. So if we wanted to see all of the contacts that have this test tag associated with them, we will select that. We'll go ahead and click apply. And now we're going to see all of the contacts that have the test tag associated with them. And you can tell if you are currently, if a filter is currently in use by seeing that this button is now turned blue. So if it is showing up as this, it does mean that you have a filter on. Now, the last thing that we're going to talk about is how to add and delete tags just within the actual contact profile. So let's go ahead. We're going to clear our tags again, or our filters rather, so that we can see all of our contacts. Okay, so now um, we have seen that those tags have been removed. So it did actually take a little bit of time 
Um, but with patients, we're able to see that our sports tag has been removed from all of our contacts, which is great news. So now if we go into our actual contact, we're just going to click on a contact. We can go ahead and you're going to see the tags associated with that contact right under here. So whatever is showing up right here. Now, if we wanted to make edits to that, we could click on the edit button, which is our pencil icon. We're going to scroll down. And the last thing we're going to see on this page is going to be our tag section. Now, if we wanted to add a tag, we could click in the box and we could scroll until we find our tag we wanted to add. We could also start typing it in. Now, let's say that we wanted to add a tag that we have not added yet. You're going to see that as I'm typing this in, it has this option, right? Uh, the first option is going to be to create a custom tag. So if I wanted to do that, I am going to, um, let's say I typed that in, I clicked create custom tag. I can add the color that I want it to be. And then I'm gonna have to click on add right here for it to then add that new tag to this contact. Now, if I wanted to delete it from the contact, all I have to do is click on that X mark and it's going to remove it from that contact. We'll go ahead and click save. And then it will show you that it has now been removed from that particular contact. So that's how you are able to work with tags within your command profile.